Hey everyone, this is Noah Steel, and I just finished priming the last of my Master Grade Death Scythe parts, around 100, of a total of around 180, and I'm about to start painting these dark gray parts for the internal frame and other parts right there. Before I do that, I thought, why not show all you guys my little workspace down here? And I'm in my basement. There's this small room that my dad used for storage of some things in here. And luckily there was enough room for a desk. And three years ago, well actually three and a half years ago, I started getting settled in here. And I'll just go over what I've assembled in terms of a workspace uh, until now. I guess I'll start off with my paints. I use Tamiya acrylic paints, as you can see right here. In the front we've got the glossy paints and then starting back here with the black and the white, these are all flat paints. So quite a few of those, but I've had three and a half years to start, you know, assembling that collection. Down here I've got some Gaia Notes lacquer paints. Now I use Gaia Notes for clear coats because it's lacquer and resilient. And I also once wanted to switch over to lacquer paints, which is why I have different colors, but that never worked out. Down here I've got some Model Masters, even though I've got more coming on the way. Some oil paints from MIG and other, some enamel thinner, stuff like that. Um, some plastic syringes for measuring paint. Up here is probably the most important part, my airbrush. It's an Iwata HPC Plus. I've had it for over two years and it's just awesome. Um, a lamp, of course. And this right here is my spray booth, which I built myself out of a big PE box and a ventilation fan. It just goes on there. And I usually open the window and just hang this huge tube out there, which gets rid of all the excess paint. Uh, down here I've got my two compressors. I've got two because I recently got a new one. And no, this one is not the new one that I got. It's actually this one. This one is my old one. It's a Sil Air 20D compressor. And it's really nice because it has a tank, an air tank that fills up with air. And it's very silent. The only disadvantage to, to this one, which is why I got the smaller one, it's the Saturn 40, is that this one runs with oil and you have to, you know, uh, get the old oil out of there and put new one in every year and that's a pain in the ass. That's why I got this one. This one doesn't have a tank, but it gets the job done. As you can hear, it's also a bit louder than the silent air uh, compressor. And of course I've got an airbrush stand here with a manometer from the Saturn 40. Some blocks of styrofoam and uh, just alligator clips with parts. And stuff up here, I've got these little uh, clear uh, plastic cups for measuring stuff. Spoons, which I don't use anymore. Stuff for mixing, like an old brush as well. Then here I've got four more Tamiya paints. This looks very blue on camera even though it's purple. Uh, these are paints that I have two of and these are the new ones. The old ones are still in there and they're not quite empty yet. Some uh, Microsoft and Microset, Mark Softer. This is Gaia Notes T-06 thinner which I was using last year to replace T-01 which I couldn't find anywhere anymore. And this stuff doesn't work too well with Tamiya acrylics, but this stuff is, it's awesome. If you can, get it. It's a lot better than Tamiya's thinner, even though Tamiya's thinner is designed for Tamiya's paints. And in here we've got some spray paints. The most important, Tamiya's fine surface primer, which I exclusively use. I've got another bottle here, and I actually already used up two bottles priming the Death Scythe parts. And I also have this one in white, but I don't like the white fine primer. I prefer the gray one, although this is light gray. I've got some TS-38, which is uh, a gray color. Some top coat 
from Mr. Hobby, which I don't use a lot anymore. I've got some big Gaia notes, clear bottles. Most importantly, <laughs> Alclad lacquers, which are nice. Right here, I've got some copper and chrome. What else have I got? I've got, there's more actually coming on the way. I just ordered some new ones. Uh, got some gold, which I'll be using on Death Scythe. Sorry, you probably couldn't see that. Gold and aluminum. And I've also got Tamiya thinner back here, but I never use that anymore. It's just leftover thinner from days past. And in here I've got some MIG pigments, MIG filters, washes, compound resin. Uh, no, uh, not compound resin. What's this stuff called? Uh, just some sort of liquid resin. Uh, back here we've got some, whoa, Vallejo acrylics, which are really awesome for brush painting. I need to get more of those. Some brushes. Need to get more of those as well. Here we have some plow plates and also just accessories you need for scratch building. Got some metal somewhere in here as well. Metal sheets or not. Can't seem to find those. It's weird. And just some more. Why is the focus so weird? Hold on. Some more of these little bamboo skewers with alligator clips. And this is a box of my older Awada Eclipse airbrush. More connector pieces and just stuff I don't need. And more alligator clips. Yeah, that's pretty much it for down here. Um, I've still got some stuff upstairs on my workbench or my desk, whatever. Uh, general accessories I also use. Rubber gloves, of course. And some paper towels for cleaning stuff up. So... I guess now I'll go upstairs and show you some of the stuff on my workbench up there. Okay, so now I'm upstairs, and as you can see, I've got a desk here, which is where I assemble my kits and also do some mods, like uh, scribing and general modifications. I've got some stuff right here that I use a lot, like different putties, green stuff, Tamiya epoxy putty, this is compound for polishing, but I don't really use that. Um, down here, some milliput dymo tape, which you can never have enough of. Some files, uh, replacement blades for my X-Acto knife. Um, beads, which are very nice and important. These are black, and this is a mix of silver, gold, and also some purple ones. What I've got here is Tamiya polyester putty, which is an awesome putty. It's a two-part putty that you mix with uh, this hardener right here. And once the stuff dries, you can cut it, you can sand it. it it's pretty, pretty good for shaping or reshaping parts. It's just awesome stuff. If you can get it, then do so. What have I got here? This is a... Um, substance that you use to clean up um, CA glue. It dissolves CA glue and gets rid of it off of parts. Some more Tamiya epoxy and more Tamiya polyester putty. Can never have enough of that. Uh, it won't close. In here I've got some some masking stuff. This, uh, this is a type of cement, which I don't like that much, which is why I switched over to Tamiya cement. Um, stuff for bending photo etched parts, some templates for scribing, a hold and fold edge set. Come on. And down here we've got some sanding paper. This is very fine sanding paper. This is 4000 grit. I use this to sand primed parts to get rid of little bubbles or whatever. And actually, the, the finest grit I have in here is, I think, there it is, 12,000. That is very fine. Feels like leather. I've also got a compass here, which I use for scribing. Well, actually, it helps me scribe stuff. Some trays for mixing putties. And on my desk, X-Acto knife. Um, a new scriber that I bought with different tips. 
and trumpeter scriber. And that's pretty much the most important stuff I've got. Cement, CA glue, Mr. Surfacer 1000 and 500. That's pretty much it. Um, if anyone else wants to share their workbench in the form of a video, you can feel free to post a response to this one. And I always look forward to seeing other people's workspaces and looking into how they, you know, organize their stuff. So hopefully someone will respond. See you then.